What an absolutely beautiful morning. Oh, it's cold, but it's gorgeous. And what I'm after today is some songbirds. It's, uh, what is it, the 21st of March, something like that. Um, I'm probably gonna get some wrens and maybe some reed buntings as well. I don't really care, just, and it's good to be out. I can hear a bitten over there. You wouldn't be able to pick it up on the camera. I think it's just too low. So yeah, hopefully uh, I'm gonna get some wrens. Wrens should be the easiest target. Uh, reed buntings as well, good chance. I don't know if there'll be any warblers back yet. I think it's gonna be a bit too early. Today I've got my 500mm lens on the tripod, so I'm carrying the tripod around, which I don't do. I don't carry the tripod for very long, because it's just, it's just so heavy, that lens. I find that this is the best way to carry the big lens. I uh, get it on top of the tripod on the gimbal head, and then kind of spread its legs over me. Um, yeah, it's much better because it spreads it over your back. It kind of spreads the weight over your back, and uh, it's not too bad. It gets tiring after a while, but... I was here a few days ago in this exact spot and there was a wren that was flitting around, flying around these gorse bushes, going onto the top singing. So I decided rather than walk around, I just plonk myself here in one spot with the tripod on the camera. So the forecast was for a perfectly clear sky. Um, how, how can you be that inaccurate? I can't hear anything singing, which is really bizarre because it's a pretty nice morning really. Isn't this just typical? A few days ago was absolutely perfect. Today, no sign of any wrens around here so far. Nothing. Yes, wren. Just heard a wren up here. I was just about to move on. Wren starts singing. Right, I'm going. Let's go. Uh, he's not too far away, but I can't see him. Um, I'm looking towards these gorse bushes. Hopefully at some point he's gonna pop up onto the he's gonna pop up onto the tops. I've got the sun coming right onto him. Nice colours. Ah, the joys of wildlife photography. All this wren's doing is flitting around really low and it is singing, but it's just staying low the entire time, it's not coming up. Um well so far I've got nothing. A male reed bunting just down here, quite low down in the reeds. You might hear him in a minute. There he goes. I'm just going to stay here. Uh, very possible he might go up onto. Oh, I don't want to show where I am. Oh, um, very possible he might go up onto one of the bushes. Uh, I've got a gorse bush and a willow with gorgeous catkins on it. I'm going to try and go a bit closer. Try and watch, try and watch the reaction of the bird all the time when you're going closer. This is just perfect. I've gone quite a bit closer, um, maybe about 20 feet. Uh, he's still there. He's down on the ground feeding. Very often in this situation, when the bird's singing like this, it's gonna have, you know, it's a favored area. It's likely to come back. So if the bird disappears, sometimes they're just off feeding. If it disappears, if you wait there by the same bush, by the same patch, there's a good chance it's gonna come back. Um, and I found with some birds, like reed buntings, uh, they might disappear for a little bit. A lot of time they're back within about 15 minutes, back to the same area, even back to the same bush, even sometimes back to the exact same branch that were on before. So it's the best thing to do rather than chasing birds around. And that's gonna cause more, more disturbance. If you find a spot like this, then 
yeah, just hang by it. It does make quite a difference if you, if you know the sound of the bird. So here, I know the sound of the reed bunting. And the wrens as well. And even without seeing them, I know they're there, so I know the area where I can stop. And that's going to increase your chances of getting something. Reed bunting's over that way. I could hear the reed bunting, thinking it's high up, but I turned round, it's right behind me. It's fantastic, it's come back. And it literally was maybe about 20 minutes. Uh, it was kind of on the other side behind me, then flew around and back, back into the same spot. Popped up, got the camera to position, got some more pictures. The bird hopped up, not me. Oh, it's fantastic, he's still staying. Um, I've gone a bit closer. He's still staying in the same place, he's still singing. Also, he's just been doing a bit of preening. I've watched him preen twice, and that's a really good sign if you see the bird preening. It's a good sign that it's quite relaxed. The wind is really important when you're doing this type of photography, and the wind's just getting up so much now that I don't think the birds are gonna to want to come onto the tops. Uh, they're gonna stay lower down. So, on top of that, there's a lot of cloud coming in. I think the best of the light is gone. And just concentrating on that male reed bunting and I'm really happy with the shots I took. They're not very big in the frame, the bird doesn't always have to be big in the frame, there's nothing wrong with keeping it a little smaller and showing more of the habitat and sometimes I think that's just a lot more interesting by doing that. If you want to see more vlogs like this in the field of me out photographing nature then click this playlist up here and if you want to see specific tutorials of how to use your camera better in bird photography tips and techniques then check out the playlist up here. So I hope everybody stays safe and healthy and uh, I'll see you sometime somewhere in nature sometime soon.